morning to you. Good morning and win today. My name is Anthony Pastor Chris Ark Ministry and um, it's a wonderful Sunday right here in Nigeria and I believe it's also Sunday over there. <laughs> I also want to welcome you back from um, Ghana Revival meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua and also welcome you back from this negative all nations today. Thank you so much. Here I'm here to show you this very much now keynote address by Pastor Evelyn Joshua during the Ghana Revival meeting. Yes, it was quite emotional that uh, if you pay attention to whatever she, she she said you will understand exactly where she's coming from and that you also know that this woman is full of authority confidence and power in christ jesus i always have one or two things to learn from her every time she speaks as i used to say not just running around people to be impacted by them listen to what they say what they say most times is more powerful more defined that what you really want from them they're like you know the anointing transfer and whatever i've learned so much from her and i love listening to her because she speaks with all amounts of wisdom everything she say contains a defying wisdom and i want to share that with you today now most of us miss that because uh, we couldn't watch it on youtube so i'm gonna allow you to watch it now um, i'm gonna see you in the next episode you know where we're gonna have the real message coming up but listen and pay attention he is able more than ever. please what consign is me today Good morning, people of God. Good morning, children of grace. Win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. 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 Shall we give Jesus Christ a beautiful hand? Give him a beautiful clap offering. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's good to be here once again. Good to be here once again. And also to meet you in faith. To meet you in faith. I thank you all for standing up for Jesus Christ. Thank you for standing up for Jesus Christ. May his goodness never pass you by. Amen. May the joy of God never pass you by. Amen. May his peace never pass you by. Amen. May his glory never pass you by. Amen. May the grace of God never pass you by. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 To all whom God has called to be part of this meeting. Wherever you are connecting with us right now. I say to you, relax in the precious arm of God. Amen. You relax in the precious arm of God. Amen. In his mercy, you are not excluded. Amen. In God's mercy, you are not excluded. Amen. And so wherever you are connecting with us, just relax. The spirit of God will minister to you in spirit and in truth. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us give Jesus Christ a beautiful hand of applause again. 
Please do have your seats. Amen. Amen. Yes, I bring you the good news. The good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to tell you the story. The sweet story of his love, of his grace, his mercy, his goodness, his peace and love. I am here to talk about his healing power. His deliverance power. To talk about his forgiving power. His salvation power. The wonderful working power of God. That is our assignment. That is why we're here. Our assignment, by the grace of God, as children of God, as vessels in his hand. So let us talk about God. Say to someone, let us talk about God. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about God and his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I feel like walking in your midst. And that place seems to be too high. Yes. The word of God in the book of Acts of Apostles, 10 verse 38 says, or told us, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was anointed by God Almighty with the Holy Spirit and with power. That Bible verse shows us how God Almighty anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With the Holy Spirit and with power. To do what? What was that anointing for? What was the purpose? The scripture told us that he went about doing good after the anointing. Christ went about doing good. Healing all that we are praised by the devil. I want us to look at the word oppressed who oppresses one who oppresses one devil devil the oppressor the accusers of the brethren Christ went about healing all that we are oppressed by the devil because God was with him do you believe the Bible you believe the Bible you believe the word of God. Do you believe that Jesus Christ was given such power to move? You believe that? This question is very important. It's very vital to us. Because the scripture equally told us that during his earthly ministry, many do not believe him. Many do not believe him. And today... Many are still, are still living in doubt concerning that. Many are still living in doubt concerning that. Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power, and he went about doing good. There is a calling, an assignment that needs to be accomplished. And so whether they believe him then or not, that does not change who he is. Whether they believe him or not, that does not change his position. They believe him or not, that does not bring him down from his glory. He is Lord. Let someone say, Jesus is God. He is Lord. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. That is our God. That is our God. Today, many people try to figure out God with their natural mind. They try to figure out God with their mind. Oh, they say to themselves, this is how God should look like. This is how God should look like. This is whom God should bless. This is how God should move. This is whom He should call. They try to figure out God. 
with their mind. And by so doing, this goes to this direction. That one goes to the other direction. You see, getting you to look at life and its storms, its troubles, adversities from the natural is a trap of Satan. You to look at life from the natural, life storms, adversities, trouble is a trap of Satan. Storm, an opera, a force that is capable of moving things out of position. Is a force that is capable of moving things out of its position. That is capable of drilling men from their natural focus. As a believer. Satan does not want any believer to live a life of faith. Doesn't want you to live a life of faith. Doesn't want you to look at things from God's point of view. And so he works hard. Satan works hard. He's a workaholic. I remember those days when we were having meetings. And the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, would be there. And people would begin to report. Hey, this person works hard. That person works hard. Oh, he belongs to this department. He works in this department. And the man of God will say, workers of iniquity. Workers of iniquity. Satan works hard. Very hard. Satan does not want any believer to live a life of faith. So he works hard to overpower you. Making you to think the thought of evil. So that they can have dominion over you. Have dominion over you. If you look at the Bible in the book of Matthew, 16 verse 23. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rebuked someone. Peter. His close ally. Who could have imagined that? He rebuked him. And that rebuke was necessary because there's a force that is capable of moving things out of place. He was speaking from the natural. Force that is capable of drilling him out of his natural focus. And so he rebuked him to awaken his consciousness, to remind him that he is in the battlefield. Say, you get out from me, you Satan. You are a dangerous trap to me. Jesus rebuked Peter. Get out from me, Satan. You are a dangerous trap for me. Jesus Christ went about doing good. Went about doing good. To those who will appreciate him and those who will not. Those who will acknowledge him and those who will not. He went about doing good to those who will question his authority and those who will accept him as savior. God was with him. One with God is majority over Satan. He went about doing good. Setting those are in bondage free. Captivity of Satan. Those in cage. Bondage. Physical bondage. Spiritual bondage. Psychological bondage. Bondage. Emotional bondage. Financial bondage. He went about setting them free. God was with him. And Jesus is still doing the same today. Yes, he's still doing the same today. To you who believes. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe that Jesus was given power? He was anointed by God Almighty. So Christ is still doing the same today. blind. He is still feeding the hungry. Christ is still driving out Satan from those who were oppressed. You know the Bible told us. He went about doing good. Delivering those, healing those who were oppressed by devil. He's still doing the same today. 
and also preaching the good news, the coming of the kingdom of God. If you look at the Bible in the book of Matthew, Matthew 5 verse 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will be called children of God. The Bible did not say troublemakers. He didn't say fault finders. No, he said peacemakers. And so, are you a child of God? Yes. Ah. Are you a child of God? Yes. Are you sons and daughters of God? Yes. So, you are a peacemaker. Yes. <laughs> Let someone say, I am a peacemaker. I want to hear somebody say, I am a peacemaker. A peacemaker. Let me hear you again say, I am a peacemaker. a peacemaker. And this will bring us to our message today. Peace, God's purpose for you. Yeah. Amen. So open your Bible with me to the book of...